and welcome back to Slimming and Chin Chilling. This is Anya B. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting every Friday, Tuesday or Wednesday with my weight loss updates. So this is Rupert if you haven't met him. He's a little bit sleepy, so probably he will just sit there and sleep. I had pretty good week. Um, obviously, I've done my weigh-in day before than usual because I couldn't film on Friday. So um, my weight loss was great. I did repeat my weight loss day after and it turns out that I I got my um, Club 10 award and I am three and a half pounds away from my next half a stone award, which is amazing. But obviously I am not counting that onto the progress just yet. It will be just reset on Friday because I think that if I will start overthinking it and weighing myself like every two days that will make it worse and I think that weighing yourself every few days can actually make a little bit of damage to your weight loss because the weight fluctuates all the time and today I might go on the scales and be like three, four pounds heavier than I was on Friday and then I might think, oh, it's not worth it, I put on weight. But in reality, it can be just water retention. So I don't want to mess my head around. I don't want to mess anything up by weighing myself every day or every few days. I'm just going to see what happens on Friday and then go back to weighing myself just every week on Friday. The only reason why I had to do it on Thursday is because I was not able to film on Friday morning. So I think that's, that's alright, that's quite a good excuse, but like I said, it will be just Fridays unless I would not be able to do that. So that's okay, because obviously if the groups are normally working if you cannot go for one group you have to make amends and go to another one like day before or day later so i was i i was doing that with that way of thinking rather than weighing myself more than i should i think rupert wants to go back because he's giving me a little bit of nibbles and that means that he wants something so i'm just gonna put him back I'm gonna grab my tea and we're gonna have a, a little bit of more chat. I grabbed myself a tea. Um, Rupert's back in his cage, just currently staring at me, which makes me a little bit uneasy, but he does that when he wants something. Probably it's treats, but he cannot have any more. He can have treats like twice a day now because he's a little bit overweight. But if it comes to my overweight, um, obviously my, my week has been really, really good. I've been following the plan. I had probably two days where I didn't have all of my healthy extras, but um, I know that I'm very hot on them and that is the main thing if it comes to following the plan for me. But I think I'm at that point where following the plan is quite a natural thing, so I don't need to overthink a lot of things that I don't need to be very strict and do everything up to the dot. It makes sense. Um, it doesn't, it might sound bad, it might sound like I'm drifting away from the plan, but I have my healthy bee every day because that's the fiber and you have to have the fiber. But if I don't have like all of my healthy A's, like let's say I will make I will have a tea and I will have like a little bit left of the milk in my jug. I don't think that's gonna affect much of my weight loss. Obviously it would affect if it was since or if I had more or if I didn't measure it. But at this point I feel very comfortable with the plan. It comes in naturally. So obviously I am writing everything down. Um, there is no doubt about that. I have to write everything down. I'm nearly halfway through my book. I can actually show you. Actually not a halfway through, but I've got a very good chunk of of the book actually filled in. So I think that's really good. And I am actually writing it down. Like if I have... Because I, I aim to have both of my healthy eggs. But if it happens that I don't have it all because it's too late to have a tea 
and I don't want to drink milk the last thing at night, I will just write it down and I will put that I haven't drunk it. So I will, I usually plan my healthy extras. So I will put that I will have like a bagel or two slices of toast or whatever in one column. And then I will write it down that I'm having 250 mill milliliters of semi-skimmed milk and let's say cheese. And once I have it, I just put a tick next to it. So I know exactly the days where I didn't have my healthy extras, the full amount. And then I can look back and I start to struggle with my weight loss. I will know that maybe it might be because of my healthy extra so I can amend it so I know exactly what what's happening it's kind of like like um SAS log in a way because that's the thing that works for me so at the moment I am losing weight and like I said it's been only two or three days but I I made a note of it so I know exactly what's going on in my plan what's going on in my week so if it gets to a moment where I will have to revisit, I can go back and I can tell you exactly that three or four weeks ago, I can exactly tell you what day I didn't have my full healthy A or when I had more sins than that because I have it all written down, it's, it's all in there. So if you're not writing things down and if you're struggling with your weight loss, try it and try to do it for four weeks because I've read somewhere, I don't know if it's accurate, but I read somewhere that if you do something for four weeks, that's when the habit kicks in. And I cannot not write things down because I feel itchy to write everything down. So it's always right next to me. I always write it down. And I literally had one day when I didn't write things down, which was my birthday. But I think that's quite understandable. I'm not going to write down KFC. Um, which I actually had. Obviously, I know that I had it and I am writing every single meal But on my birthday, I just decided to have like a treat meal rather than having all day on plan And I managed that week. I managed to maintain and that was only one bad meal. So imagine if I had um, One bad meal every day that would be a gain. So this is where I'm getting at. Always write things down if you're struggling with your weight loss. Or even try to find, if you online member, try to find the SAS log and fill it out. Obviously, you don't have to broadcast it. But I assure you that there will be something that is on the plan that is creeping in. And sometimes we just might not notice. And whatever diet you follow, not just Slimming World, I think it's quite important to write things down and just to get back to it when you need to have a look what went wrong or if you get into the plateau stage where you're not losing the weight because with Slimming World yes we can eat as much as we want as the plan says but there is actually disclaimer to our appetite so it doesn't mean that, it, that you can eat as much as pasta as you want and you're gonna have the whole whole packet of pasta for one meal for example I am weighing my pasta I eat about 60 grams of pasta per meal which is actually quite good amount because if you think about food optimizing you get rid of all of the carbs and you replace them with the speed food or any food um, that can be protein or, or speed or free food and it actually tastes nicer because you don't stuff yourself with the carbs so it is all common sense and I know that at some point I will get to that point when I will stop losing weight or it's gonna be really slow and then I will know what to change in my diet because I've seen that happening in, in my groups there's been people that have been struggling to get into the last bit to lose their last bit of the weight to get to the target and they had to change some stuff like some people had to um, cut down on the sweetener or some people had to get rid of even more carbs because everybody's different and that's why this book is so important to me and not weighing myself every two days it's so important as well 
because that can be quite discouraging because I, I might go on the scales this morning and it might show that I've put on two pounds then I will go on the scales tomorrow and it will show that I've lost four because their weight constantly fluctuates and I see that happening constantly that people just get discouraged and normally if I've done that at my worst or if my head was not where it's now I would just end up thinking oh I've put on two pounds I've been following the plan I've put on two pounds so I can just eat everything because it doesn't matter anymore it does matter it's just probably water and the time of their way and as well like I can assure that if you weigh if you weigh yourself in the morning your weight will be different when you weigh yourself in the evening because it fluctuates during the day obviously you eat things so uh, before it's even processed in your body it will have some weight so you know just keep your head where it should be and don't weigh yourself every day or more than once a week okay i think i might stop here let me know of your experiences if weighing yourself a few times a week triggers you or if does it help you or uh, what do you think about writing things down and obviously if you're enjoying the videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like i said i'm posting every friday that might actually slightly change to saturday but i haven't made the decision yet and i post some cooking videos so if you want to have a look at what what i'm cooking normally um there is a playlist called how did i cook this meal where i do pretty much how to um videos with the cooking I, there is one video pro possibly coming up in the next few days i'm not sure exactly when because that depends on um my schedule but obviously I'm going to be posting on Friday with my weight loss or weight gain. I don't know. It will be just an update of my weight. And I think I will just stop right here. So don't forget to subscribe. See you definitely on Friday. Have a great weight loss this week if you're on your slimming world journey or any weight loss journey. And I will see you soon.